Fresh off the third place finish in the battle for Atlantis, the Tigers came home to Columbia to take on Appalachian State on Saturday. The Tigers returned home from their Caribbean vacation to find Appalachian State waiting for them in Missouri. Senior big man Lawrence Bowers got off to a hot start, scoring the opening bucket for Missouri before getting involved on the defensive end, picking off the Appalachian State pass and then taking the feed from Ross on the fast break he started to lay it in. And then it was Bowers again with another layup down low. Tigers went to him early and often as he scored 15 of the team's first 19 points, including three off this beautiful shot. And oh yeah, he plays a little defense too. What's the stuff of the Appalachian State shot? They had no answer for him in the first half. He wasn't the only one to get involved though as Keon Bell put down a nice slam in transition as he's known to do from time to time. Then Ernest Ross decided to get in on the fun as he took a layup from coast to coast. And then Flip Pressey found his old buddy Alex Oriaki in the paint for a beautiful two-hand jam and Mizzou took a 39-21 lead into the half. The Tigers didn't let off the gas in the second half as it was all hustle. Here they got a couple offensive boards for Danny Feldman put it in for two. Truman loves the energy plays. He was fired up. Then Ryan Rosberg found Tony Criswell for the pretty J. And then Keon Bell was able to find his way to the hoop for another beautiful layup. And this one was never in doubt as the Tigers rolled Appalachian State 72-56 in their first game back from the Bahamas. Using Lawrence Bowers' his hot start in the first half, the Tigers took a lead that they never relinquished and beat Appalachian State 72-56. Their next game's Tuesday when Southeastern Missouri comes to town. From the Mizzou Arena, Mike Bonomo, 23 Sports.